Hi, George here. And in Photoshop Elements 2023, they've added in a few new options, a few new templates inside of the collage. Now the new templates only work with a smaller number of pictures. I found that three is a good number for this. So I have three pictures open right now. That one, that one, and that one. There we go. Let's go over here to create and come down to photo collage. Let this load in. There's one of the standard previous collages. They see the new collages over here, right hand side. We have those in right down here. These are great new collages. You have some new things to play around with. So these are more freeform. Just double click, it will load that in and apply that layout. There we go. It's kind of interesting. A bit more freeform. Let's try this next one over here. Apply that layout. Just double click. And there we go. Now notice that some of these have a little blue triangle in the corner. That means that I haven't downloaded those yet from online. So if you see the blue triangle, You'll have to have a currently active internet connection to download that. Now, once it's downloaded, it's on your computer and you won't have to download it again. It's just one time only when you do that. So if you use these templates a lot, just go through and click on each one to get them all downloaded. Then you're all set. Now, because this does change, here's some square ones right down here. The templates do change based upon how many pictures you have. If you want to find all the templates, then you should try several different sets or numbers of pictures. Try three pictures, try four pictures, try five pictures and then download the templates that you don't happen to have. Unfortunately, you can't download them all at once. That's just not an option. So you have to go through and just do them one at a time if you want to grab all those templates. But easy to use, just bring them in, double click on them. That just downloaded right there. It's that fast and easy. Readjusts and there we go. Now, once you've added in a template, you can then come in and adjust the images inside the template. Let's do that one here. For instance, here's this picture. You can see the borders of the picture up there. So I can grab those borders and actually expand and move the picture around a little bit. If you go too far, you begin to see the edge. So just keep that in mind. Also, if you select a picture, you can adjust your controls up here as well. You can replace a picture in the frame with this button. You can trash a picture right here. You can zoom in or zoom out right here or just grab the corner like I did. Get the green check mark to set that in place. Here is this one. Now he's off center. You can see the edge of the picture is way out here someplace. I'm going to pull him in and get him positioned better. I can't go down because there's a the top of the picture. So I'll put it up right here good and I think this one is pretty good right there so we'll leave them at that position so they're very easy to use and they're a lot more fun a lot more free form a little less formal than we've seen in the previous templates and if you like this video hit that like button click on share click on subscribe check out my channel for a bunch more Photoshop elements videos and also take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop elements the link for that's right down there in the description and I'll see you next time